Hey everybody, Cole Van Hoff here with Alliance Wake for the Gear Guide for 2022. And right in front of me, we've got the Slingshot Solo. Let's dive into it. Just to be straight up with you guys, this board is pretty much the only board that's gonna be an all-terrain vehicle. And that's definitely what I wanna go over today is just how this board is capable to be a boat board and a cable board and honestly be a top shelf board at the same time. So let's start off with a couple of features that definitely, you know, help you out on the cable side. You know, we've got the ballistic base. That thing's always solid, gonna take a beating. You got the fusion sidewalls. Those, you know, help the board take that beating and stay together. We've also got removable fins. So, you know, you can remove those fins and you can do what you want to at the cable. Um, we do have some channels on the bottom here and those do help you grip, you know, even when you take off the fins, if you like to do air tricks or whatever, that's gonna give you a little bit more control on that edge. Obviously, when you're riding behind the boat, you know, those are just, that's just a little bit more grip on the water. Another feature that's really nice for the cable is you get a lot of flex with this board. The tip and tail have the flex tip technology that Slingshot's been doing. Um, so that's where you're gonna get majority of your flex. But overall, this board is a pretty flexy board. You know, usually if your board's really flexy and you're riding behind the boat, when you hit that wake, it wants to fold or bend and not hold its shape through the wake. Um, but I think one, I think this is a 150, so I think that helps. But in general, I don't think that this board folds under the pressure of the wake. I think that it holds its shape not as good as maybe a foam board or you know a typical boat board. But if you're gonna get something that's doing both, this definitely is capable of doing that and still getting good pop and still providing what you need when you wanna have a good boat board. Another thing that I think is really cool about this board that doesn't really matter for boat or cable, just in general, the board is more narrow, right? Um, and I have learned to really like more narrow boards. One, I really like to carve and have an aggressive um, edge to edge feel. And with this you know, more narrow board, you're really able to lay into those edges and get into them a lot quicker. Um, so I just feel like you have a bit more control with a board that's narrow like this. Just to touch on the flex tips for you guys. Uh, when I say flex tips, that means pretty much the end of the board, your tip and tail, you have a section that is very flexy. Um, even if when you look at the side profile of this board, you'll see it come down and get even thinner. Um, so what that is, is when you're going into those presses, when you get up on the nose, you get even more flex out of the board. Uh, sometimes this, you know, you'll feel that when you're hitting the wake, sometimes it'll flex out on you on landings and stuff, but the majority of the stiffness is in the belly. So that's where it provides that good, you know, all terrain type feel to where it holds up on the boat, but then you still have the flexibility on the cable. Just like every other slingshot board, we've got the carbon bedrock inserts. Um, you know, you got four options. So typically, usually a lot of the boards come with three. That way you get a little bit more options with your stance. Another thing about this shape is that it is a three-stage rocker board. I wouldn't say that it's a very aggressive three-stage board. Um, and I think that helps because typically with a continuous board, you get more consistency. But with a three-stage, you get a lot more pop, but it is a little bit slower. So the way that they've shaped this board, it's right there in the middle. Um, and I think it's great because you do get that nice pop, but also you get the consistency with the board. Um, so you really can't beat that. So since this is a all-terrain board, we are gonna break it up into two sections for the categories. The first we're gonna look at is the cable side of things. So let's jump into those categories now. So one of the first categories for cable we look at is the base. Now with the base, we go one through 10. One is very sticky and 10 is super slick. And this base right here is the ballistic base for Slingshot. Um, it's the staple in their line. It's very consistent, it holds up well. It does exactly what you need it to do on the cable. Um, fresh out the box, she's a little slick, you know, you beat it up. Uh, that's why this thing lands at a seven on the scale, just because it's slick, it slides through everything, but it's not so slick to where you're sliding out and you're gonna slam your face. The next thing we look at is flex. You know, we go one through 10 as well. One being stiff as a board, 10 being a wet noodle. This board itself lands at a six on the scale. That's because we've got the flex tip, so we get that flexibility, but we get the belly that's nice and stiffer, um, you know, so that way it holds up. So, you know, you kind of get the best of both worlds, but it's definitely more on the flexy side than stiff side. Moving over to the next one is Ollie, one through 10 as well. One meaning there's no Ollie. 
10, meaning it's a really good Ollie. And this board right here came in at a seven on the scale. Uh, and I think that it would have been higher, but sometimes those flex tips do flex out on you. So it's, it's definitely a little bit of a learning curve to figure out how to pop the board sometimes. But I think this narrow board and just the tip and tail shape makes it really nice when doing ollies. So, I, you know, once you get used to it, I think you're going to love it. Now we start getting into categories that are both, you know, for boat and cable at the same time. Um, so, you know, one of those is landings. Uh, landings, we go one through 10. And one is, you know, it's super harsh landings and 10 means it's really smooth and easy, soft landings. This board right here landed on the scale at an eight. I think it did a really good job at landings. It is a 150, so I have a little bit more board to absorb that landing a little bit. And there's a little bit of a spine down the middle, so that obviously helps displace the water for those landings. Another category that is shared with, you know, the boat and cable side is the tracking, you know, how well does the board edge? Obviously with boat, you kind of go with fins and cable, you go with no fins, but regardless, we go one through 10 with this. One meaning you're loose as a goose and 10 meaning you're locked in. And this board lands at a six on the scale. That being said, it does have channels to give you a little extra grip. You know, you've got the fins if you want them. Um, but I also think that the narrow shape helps you when uh, edging on that board and just helps you get on those edges a lot quicker. Now the rest of these are for the boat categories. And this one is gonna be speed. We go one through 10 as well. One meaning it is very slow and 10 meaning it's really fast. And this board is a three stage rocker and typically with three stage you get a slower board. But I really think that this rocker line is pretty mellow. So when I say that it's a little bit more flat to where you get a lot more speed out of the board. Um, obviously you have some channels that helps the flow of water as well. This board on the scale lands at an eight. Um, and I think that's honestly really good if you're looking for a three stage board. Typically, you know, that's gonna scale down a little bit more than that. But, you know, this hybrid board has just given you a little bit more ability to pull speed out of it. Another category we check out for boat is pop. And we go one through 10, one meaning there's no pop, 10 means to the moon. Now for the solo, this pop, I will say you have the three stage, you get a nice pop out of it. But like I said, it's consistent because it's not the most aggressive three stage, which I, I do like a lot. Um, the downside of, you know, having an all terrain board sometimes, you know, the cable side, you want the flex, you've got the flex tips. Sometimes those will flex out on you as you're going up the wake when you release. I think it's just over time you learn how the board releases. It definitely releases different than some of the other boards. So you gotta have that give and take to have a flex board behind the boat, um, but it still gets really good pop. You will find the right way to edge into that wake and pop like you need to. Um, so on the scale, we give this a six and a half. The last category we check out is swing weight. We go one through 10 with this as well. One meaning it is very heavy underneath your feet and 10 means it's very light underneath your feet when you're spinning that board around. Um, that being said, this board comes in at a five right in the middle. Um, you've got the nice thin flex tip, tip and tails. So there's a lot less weight on the tip and tail to be bringing it around. But at the same time, this is a 150. We are riding, you know, kind of the new age style of boards where you're riding a bigger board. So that's more tip and tail on the outsides of your feet. So that adds into that swing weight. So between the thinness and the bigger board, you kind of land yourself right in the middle. So you really can't beat that. Man, guys, I know this was a pretty long review. This is a all terrain vehicle that we had to get, you know, all the bases covered on this puppy. But if you guys are interested in a board that's gonna do it all, you know, you're spending a top dollar on a top deck and you want it to do everything, this is the best option that's out there on the market right now. Um, if you guys are interested in this board, head over to slingshotsports.com to check them out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future reviews coming out. I'm Cole, and we'll see you on the next one.